Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be going over how to increase your performance and clarity on Project Lee. Um, we're going to be using Smooth's um, UE4 optimization file. Um, there's one, two, three, four different um, groups of text. I'm only going to be using two. Um, but real quick, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. It's really easy. It takes about two minutes and should help you out with your performance and project lead drastically. So what you're going to do, you're going to push your Windows key. You're going to type in percent local app data percent. You push enter and you're going to open up this file. Now, I always do date modifying. It is the easiest way to find new files, but uh, it doesn't matter. You can just go through, look for the delete folder, go to saved, config, Windows client, and you'll see all these INI files in here. Now what you're gonna do is in the smooth GitHub, you're gonna scroll down and look for where it says open engine INI, copy and paste under lines in this file. You're going to copy this whole set of text right here up until the bottom where it says scene renderer target size method. You're going to copy all of that. Now in this folder, you're going to open up engine.ini. And before you edit anything, you're going to see this core system up to probably like game.net driver, right? So you're going to paste everything beneath that. So once you get here, just push enter two times. And then paste it all below. Then you're going to save it. Once you save that, you're going to right click engine.ini and you're going to check read only and click apply OK. I'll make it so those codes will always be there and they will never change or get removed. Now, the only other thing we're going to be using is the open input.ini. Same thing, you're going to copy this text. And in this folder, you're going to look for input.ini. Um, you might have these input settings right here. If not, it's okay. Just paste um, the script engine input settings in here. Save the file. Right-click properties and go to read only. So once you do that, the last thing you can do is go to Steam. Go to Project Leet. Go to right-click it. Click Manage and click Browse Local Files. <laughs> now once you're in Browse Local Files. You're going to click Leet, Binaries, Win64, and you'll see Leet.exe. You're going to right click it, Properties, the Compatibility, and you're going to check Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and you're also going to click Change High DPI Settings. Click Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. It should say Application. If it does not say Application, make sure it's, it does. Click OK, Apply, OK, and then you're done. That's all you have to do. Uh, now, my bad, one more thing you can do is in your lead folder, you can look for game user settings ini. In here, in here, where it says scalability groups, you want to set everything to zero except for resolution quality. Resolution quality, you want it set to 100, so it is the highest quality resolution you can have with the best looking picture. And all the other settings, you want set to zero for the highest performance. So with this change, the engine I and I and the input, your game should feel significantly better now. Now, for me personally, I was getting anywhere from a 20 to 40 per, like FPS boost in certain areas. So I would be anywhere from like... 80 to 90 FPS in certain areas. Now I'm 110, 120 in certain areas where I would get low FPS, which is nice. But yeah, that's that's all you have to do. It's really easy. It takes about two or three minutes to do it. Um, hope this helps you. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you subscribe, follow, like, all that stuff. Thank you guys. Bye.